like this world, which seems to us so substantial, is no more than the shadow. Patrice in Grevio, Alpha S et O, Alpha S et O. Well, Shadow Labs <laughs> tells the story of the relationship between C.S. Lewis, who was the author of the Narnia ah, stories, the magician's nephew, very good, and Joy Gresham, who was an American poet, and the story is about their relationship oh, and develops. Art is some sort of instruction manual for life, isn't it? I think it's quite an optimistic play in many respects. A lot of people think because of the subject matter it's going to be very upsetting, and indeed it is an upsetting play in some parts, but it's also got a lot of hope in it um, because of the way they came to feel for each other, um, the fact that he came totally out of his shell from a man who'd not, at 58, had not had a relationship with a woman to find what was a really deep love for somebody that actually challenged his <coughs> beliefs about Christianity, ultimately. I knew it was a real person, more real than real. So real that everything else just became like shadows. That attitude of the Oxford Dons towards Joy, that she went out to secure a marriage. Like a cocktail sausage upon a tray. Yeah, uh, congratulations, <laughs> Jack. Seem to have found a soulmate. It is very much a love story, I think. They did really feel something very deep for each other, and it took him longer to realise that oh. than her, and that's the sad thing about it that their time together was extremely short. Good night, Jack.